So here's the front of the Caprice. I'm about to paint it. So I'm just getting it on tape real quick. I'm about to just primer gray it real quick. And it should match, because that's nasty. People look at this car, they're like scared of it. So I'm about to try to make it look all a little bit more presentable. Yeah. So I'll probably take all the trim off. I'm gonna take this trim off first. And the grill and everything take these off well yeah I'm gonna take this off for sure I'm gonna, I don't know if I have to go down this low I might just take this one off and then just hit the top of the fender because it's got paint on it so I'm gonna just fog it real quick so it doesn't look so bad started doing a little bit of sanding on it because it was nasty up here it had like swirl marks like someone used the wrong sandpaper so you know I got some 220 lying around of course went into the stash found found that need to round up a block so I can get on here I'm thinking I might just take this chrome off now since I'm getting in on it and I'm about to razor this off scotch bright pad out here you know got a little wet and stuff you know scotch bright will do a lot sometimes like that whole stuff I thought I was gonna have to razor that off but I just said let me try this real quick and so that's a lot better than putting like scratches in the paint like I did right there that was with the razor but then I was like you know what let me scotch bright this so I might have to come at it with a little bit that did pretty good right there. Just off. You wanna see the other side? I don't need to re-wet it. Yeah, that's chunky right there. I'm gonna mess up my scotch pipe. Pad. I think this one got more on it than the other side. I might, I did, well actually, you know, I did go over it one time with the razor. So that probably did take a little chunk off. This right here. Now that it's wet, I'll probably. See, that's what I'm trying not to do. So yeah, you can get rid of a lot of that old glue and then it should clean up with the scotch right. Just try not to do it too hard or else take the paint with you. If you care. I mean if you care, try to stay within the lines. And probably not paint, probably not tape it while you're doing it at the same time, but you gotta get the idea. Alright. Oh yeah, look at all that. Nasty. It's probably never ever been off. So yeah. Lots of nasty shit. We're taking the trim off sometimes. I knew that was gonna happen. So I'll probably leave, I probably really might leave these on, but I might not. Well, yeah, that, definitely that one. That one's a problem. But um, definitely 
gonna hit up the top part of the fender. I don't know about if I'm gonna hit the lower part of the fender. It doesn't really, if it matches, then it doesn't really need it. And I'm gonna hit the front end. And I'm gonna hit this fender. Look at my wet sand job there. <laughs> Unintentional. I really don't know what I'm doing too much. When I mean, I know what I'm doing, but not really. I'm not no uh, body work expert or nothing. You know, just the basics, you know. If I get a paint, if I, I would like to get into like paint and stuff or like trying or something, but right now, I'm just trying to match the, I'm just trying to match the color on this car. Not matte, not even match. This is all gonna be gray, so. My body work is amateur, for sure. But, at least I'm using 220 grit. I mean, I could put Bondo on and all that, you know. I've done all that before, but that's, that's not my cup of tea. I'm just trying to get all this glue off. Trim residue, whatever you want to call it. I mean, since I since I started on it, I might as well get that. And yeah, when I do this side, I'll probably turn the car around and then take this trim off and do this side. All right, let's get this side first and the front. So, look, I know you guys want to see this, though. This is what everyone wants to see. Watch all the dirt come off. Oh yeah, that's how you block it off right there. A couple boxes, a little bit of tape, a bag, and that's it. Time to do it. All right, there goes the passenger fender. Look, uh, hella different grays. This one's like silver. I mean, that looks more like silver now, but this is a primer gray. That's like silver. This back is like a nasty primer gray. The top is still the original light blue. I know you didn't even notice that, huh? Light blue. Yeah. Light blue right there. And that was black and now it's gray. So, yeah, the car is pretty mismatched, but that fender was looking nasty. So at least, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm probably going to get it painted, and so I'm not really tripping if it's different color, but that was looking bad, you know? Like, at least in the sun, it all looked like one color. And then this, too. That's bad. And that that side, the, the other side was looking worse. This side doesn't have any bare metal showing yet, at least, so. Well, a little bit. But yeah, that passenger side was bad. And so, there it is. It looks better. You know, I'm just using the paint that I have here. So, if I want to match the whole car, then I'll do that. But when I do that, it's just going to get all painted, I think. So, this is just for right now. Probably for the next year or two. You know, I'm being realistic. There's still some body work I got to do, like right there. But I'm not doing that right now. I'm just getting some paint on it. And so yeah, to all be one color again is looking pretty scary before. So it was looking like a free car that someone got and was doing doping and sleeping in. So now we're gonna take that look away from it. So I don't need people looking at me like that. 
hella Prius drivers were getting hella scared when I seen this car. Like it was about to murder them or something. Yeah, that engine. People were looking at it like they just didn't even know how to comprehend this shit. Like they were just gonna faint and die. So yeah, I don't need that. It's just a 79 Caprice. It was just here before you were. It was just riding around here before you were, so yeah. You know, everyone in their Priuses, you know, don't respect me, it's good. The world don't respect you. Oh yeah, look at it now. Mismatch, all mismatch. I still got one fender left there. But look, that looks way better. So it's many different grays now, 50, 50 shades of gray. Actually it's about five, but. There it is. Now I'm leaving this part black. That was black. See, black, black. Red right there, but I'm about to just leave that because I don't need to get close to my bumper. It's gonna get covered. And this should be black because it's behind the grill. I don't want gray spots showing through. So yeah, there it is, it looks decent. You know what I'm saying? These need work on their own. You know, this one needs work on its own. I might just replace it. We still got nasty wheel cuts that people did to fit big rims in the past. You know, nasty dents, ugh, inside dent. Well, that's not gonna happen again because I got those pads there. If you got one of these caprices, man, make sure you put some type of pad there or else you're gonna be looking like that. I already looks like that, right? Yeah, that's a little bit off, but who cares? That's about, that's about it, all right. So here's a fender. I sanded it down some. It still needs a little body work. There's a spot like right here, maybe some other spots. But I'm about to just put some primer gray on it right now. So it'll all be one color. And the front looks pretty good. The side looks pretty good, you can see. It's gonna need some work still. But just for right now, I just wanted to get it one color. Or as close to one color as I can. So, it looks, there it is. And I'm about to paint this fender as soon as this, this fender right here dries off. It's pretty dry now. Get it there. All right.